Welcome to the first lesson. In this lesson we are going to download Unity Installer, install it and run for the first time. Before starting making games, let's make sure that you have Unity Editor up and running. If you don't have Unity installed already, then let's download it first. Go to your favorite web browser and in search type Unity. Or you can also directly go to unity3d.com. Press Get Unity and you will see a comparison chart for different versions. Personal version of Unity has all the features and you can create commercial games for sale with it. However, there are some minor limitations. For example, you cannot change branded Unity loading screen. Let's go get personal version. Click on Try Personal. And on this screen, click on Download in Store. Double click the installer file. The installation procedure is pretty straightforward. On Unity component selection screen you can choose desired components. I will select documentation, standard assets, example project, Android and iOS build support. If you are on Mac you can also select Windows build support. If you are on Windows you can additionally select Mac support. Please make sure you have working internet connection, otherwise installation will stop until connection is restored and you will have to manually resume it. After installation completed successfully, do not be in a hurry to close installer window. If you want to save installer files on your disk for future use, go to your downloads folder, locate Unity packages folder and rename it. Now feel free to close the installation window, go to your programs folder and find a Unity. The first thing you will see when you launch Unity will be the project browser. Here we will choose Unity Personal. I don't use Unity in a professional capacity. The license will be updated. Here is a quick and easy survey. Ok, now we are good to start using Unity. Here you can see the project browser. For you it might have only this first standard SS example project. Click on it. Ok, to click continue. There is a chance that when you first time start Unity it will look different to this. This is because Unity interface is highly customizable. So you can move tabs around, close some of the tabs and rearrange them, change their sizes, positions and so on. You go to the layout button drop down here at the top right and select revert factory settings. Press continue and you will see exactly the same screen. Unity is a rapidly developing software, so there are frequent patch releases, which sometimes will have critical issues fixed. If you want to get the latest patch release, go to the Unity website on the Get Unity page and scroll all the way to the bottom and there you will find patch releases. Click on it and you will see the latest patch releases. My final released version of Unity is newer than this patch release, but just keep an eye on uh, this page to always stay up to date. 